Hello Sagittarius. Welcome to the channel. This is Asnoitia here. Hope you all are doing well and safe. So this is going to be a love reading for those of you who are connecting with someone on a romantic level or for those of you who want to connect with someone on a romantic level. This will be me looking into what it is that they're feeling for you, what their intentions are towards you as well. All right. So let's have a look. I'm going to be using the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. Do keep in mind this is a general reading, guys, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. And also, time is fluid, so this may not cover just the beginning of September. It could be forwards or backwards in the timeline. Oh, goodness gracious me. Look at the way that just fell. Beautiful. Love. Yes. <laughs> Love. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wild woman. Boundaries. Mothering. Nourishment. Hearth and home. Victim. You have two here. All right. I think you guys can see that. Let me just put it a little higher. Yeah, I think you guys could see that. It's sensuality and compassion. Okay. Wow. This is a very <laughs> sweet reading, actually. Um, it's, it is, it's bittersweet. Let's just call it bittersweet. All right, Sag. So you have your love, wild woman, boundaries, mothering, nourishment, hearth and home, victim, sensuality, compassion. And under the bottom of the deck, you have illusion. So I'm going to express to you what it is that this person is feeling towards you. My dear Sagittarius, I am deeply in love with you, if you don't already know that. The smell of your hair, your skin, your eyes, everything about you. It's like milk and honey. There's so much about you that is so beautiful and caring and nurturing. But there's a part of you, just a little part, that I don't fully trust. And yes, I won't deny it. I have lied to you in the past. I have not been as truthful as I should have been, as I could have been. And for that reason, I do see that, yes, you have put up boundaries. And that's understandable. Because you treated me so well. And yet, in return, I was not good to you. You gave me love. Wrapped me in your arms. Gave me so much tender love and care. There's beauty in the way that you love me. I truly do feel fulfilled emotionally, physically and spiritually. There is so much beauty in you. So many things you can give to me freely, willingly. And I appreciate everything. 
In you, I do find a hearth and home. You are my home. There is so much about you that I find down to earth. I can confide in you and there is no judgment. You do not judge. But the way I was and the way things were, you were a victim of my desire. I manipulated you to a degree and I've turned you into a victim. I know it was wrong. And it's so hard not to want you and desire you. You are so sensual. There's so much about you that is alluring, seductive. And even though I have compassion for you, I have this feeling where I know I should not have done this, but I took advantage of your vulnerability. You needed someone in your life and you had certain needs and I wanted to fulfill those needs. But the truth of the matter is your eyes were and are still very sad. And I have a lot of compassion for you, for the strength and the courage that you have. You are very beautiful and very strong, even though there is sadness in your eyes. And although I know this and I feel this, I dare not say this to you and express myself to you because I don't know how to approach the situation any longer. I just want to hide behind a veil, behind a mask. I'm not able to fix the situation. I don't even know how to deal with the situation, so I avoid it altogether. But on the inside, do I love you? Yes. Do I want to be with you? Of course I do. Will I express myself to you? That's another question. I don't think I can right now. Sagittarius, wow. Very raw emotions direct to the point. You might have been caught in a situation where you were vulnerable at one point and you let someone in to your life and you did not know but you were being taken advantage of and now this person is feeling terrible about what has happened and they're at a different stage a different phase in their life now where they want to talk to you but they just can't talk to you It is complicated. But this person has beautiful, genuine feelings for you. Absolutely beautiful feelings. And it's true, they feel as though they have made you the victim. All right. Let's have a look, guys. Is there any actions... What are their actions? What are their intentions? Any plans that this person is making Sagittarius towards you in the coming future? Holy moly. OK, 
Okay, there's two cards. I'm going to bring both of these out. Two of Wands. Seven of Wands. Okay. Now, let's have a look here. Okay, you guys can see it. Knight of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Under the bottom of the deck, you have Page of Cups. This person's really feeling sheepish for about what they did. They don't know how to approach you. So, Sagittarius, this person was in the process of making a decision. And they have finally made a decision. However, in between this entire time now, it has been very difficult for them because there's still certain things that they're being defensive about. There's still certain things that are um, coming to them externally. And so because of this, they are being a little defensive still. You have here the Two of Wands, Seven of Wands. And then you have the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles does talk about somebody taking time out, thinking long and hard, and coming back with a solid offer. Now the offer is from somebody who is emotionally not too immature, but they're not fully mature either. This offer is coming to you after a lot of thinking, a lot of contemplating. Six of Pentacles, this person had options and they do choose and want to be with you. They also are really wanting to go out with you and have fun with you somewhere. This could be for coffee, at a restaurant, anywhere. Under the bottom of the deck, you do have Page of Cups. This person does feel as though they did you wrong and they have no idea how to say sorry. But one day, they are going to come back into your life and they are going to apologize for what they did. They're going to be very shy. And I like to use the word sheepish because they are so scared of what you're going to do, what your reaction is going to be. But they are going to try their best to gain that courage and come towards you and try to apologize for what they have done to you. Okay, guys, a lot of thinking. There is a process to everything. There's always a process to everything. Nothing just happens overnight. Relationships are just like plants, needs to grow over time with fertilizer, love, attention, and water. It's not just an on-off switch. All right, guys, this is the Lover's Path Tarot deck. I'm going to pick one card from here and see what it is that the other person, because now I'm going to be only focusing from now on, on what the other person's thinking. I don't want to just concentrate on both of you guys because then I can't really focus. So I just want to stay focused. So it's just one person, the person that you're dealing with right now, who we are focusing on. This is going to be any obstacles or any hindrances that are being caused in this relationship. What is causing the issue? Okay, Grace. And under the bottom of the deck, we have Princess of Coins. So, let's have a look at Grace. So this person has found that from you, they realize that you have that type of love that can inspire others. They have the need and the feeling of turning dreams into reality. There is an awareness of goals and ambitions and objectives. They weren't like this before, but it's starting to get there. 
The belief and self-esteem that they have, there is a feeling that that needs to be met because their beliefs were changed for a while, their self-esteem went downhill. But what is this person doing right now? What are they actually doing? They know you make them happy, but they're not following their happiness because they're feeling insecure. They're also feeling very unworthy of love and unworthy of your love specifically. They don't feel that they are worth any of the attention or any of the love that you have given or anything that's around them. They have strong intuition. Yes, they do, but they have been ignoring it. They've been ignoring that intuition. They're not following what their heart says. Now, under the bottom of the deck, you do have Princess of Coins. Princess of Coins here does talk about not being able to take responsibility and not being too good at sending messages. There's been too much time thinking and not enough time doing. They've been waiting for a certain opportunity and they've been planning many things, but it's very unrealistic. They need to gain some knowledge in order to make their reality come true. So this is an issue because, Sagittarius, the time with you people might have been months and even years because it says too much time has gone by. So the connection that you have may be so deep, it may be over the span of years or months. The issue here is that this person's thinking, is it too late for me to even do anything? I've waited too long. I've waited too long and I'm a terrible person because I used Sagittarius. At the time when they needed somebody, I ended up becoming someone who was not serving their purpose. All right, Sag, so this is Doreen Virtue's deck, Angel Answers. I'll be looking into any guidance that the angels can give to you. Alright. Success. Alright, within the next few weeks. Dear. The situation will improve. Forgiveness. Listen to your intuition. Big happy changes. There's one extra card here on the back. Trust. Meditation brings answers. All right. So you have here success. Within the next few weeks, the situation will improve. Forgiveness. Listen to your intuition. Big happy changes. In the near future, trust. Under the bottom of the deck, you have meditation brings answers. All right, so this message, Sagittarius, is brought to you by Archangel Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. So they know of your situation, and they are saying that, yes, there is going to be success. The situation is going to improve, provided that forgiveness 
is given and received and taken. Whatever forgiveness is needed in this relationship, it's only going to move forward if forgiveness is given to somebody. If an apology is spoken, accepted, whatever the case, whoever was at fault. This may occur within the next few weeks, in fact, for some of you. For the rest of you, it would be in the near future. Listen to your intuition. There are certain guided messages that you will be receiving from the divine. Don't second guess yourself. Whatever your gut feeling is, go with that gut feeling. Because when you do, there's going to be big happy changes. And this will be in the near future. In the meantime, the divine wants you to do a few things. Trust in the divine and meditation will bring answers. Trusting in the divine meaning, this particular deck is made for angels. Those angels work for Jesus, they work for Jehovah. So, whatever your background is, it's totally up to you. Trust in Jesus or Jehovah. Meditate on these divine beings and pray to them but request you request from angels we do not pray to angels angels are their staff but they're there to help us and support us so when you do meditate meditation literally means just pray it really doesn't mean you have to sit in a room quietly and just meditate like a yoga instructor you don't have to do that literally sit down for five ten minutes five minutes three minutes it does not matter but have that sense of yourself connecting yourself to the divine and talking having a conversation telling them what your issues are and sending that out into the universe and having trust in it because I see here, it does say the situation will improve and there's going to be big and happy changes. This is going to occur in the near future or even within the next few weeks. Few weeks could also mean months. But the only way things are going to happen, guys, is if you forgive. If you're really upset, some people are just not willing to forgive because you've been hurt so much. So this is for those of you who really want to forgive. This is applicable to you. For those of you who don't want to forgive, who don't want to deal with it, that's totally up to you guys. This part is for those of you who want to continue in the relationship. All right, guys. I hope I have been able to provide you with some clarity. And I hope that all of your hearts are healed because it's very important for the heart to be strong. All right, guys. So let me know if any of you resonated with this reading. Um, it seemed to be very particular about certain situations. So I'd like to maybe read some of your comments and reply if I can. And thank you once again for all of your love and support. It's a, it's a big, big blessing for me. Thank you. So I guess I'll see you guys again. And that will be in mid-September. Until then, you guys stay safe, take care, and definitely stay positive. Okay then. Bye-bye now.